Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market, and now I am back with part two of this very large consignment that was sent in by a viewer. This is um, part two. We've already um, uh, we've already sold a bunch of her things um, in previous auctions, so this is her second box, and it's very large. Couldn't even open it on camera; it was so big. So. Um, and I honestly have not seen any of these pieces yet. So it is all a true mystery, even to me. So if you're interested in consigning some of your jewelry with me, my contact information is in the description box below. Um, if you were interested in purchasing something that you see in this video, keep an eye on my auction and the link to that auction is pinned in the description box below as well. Ooh, this is pretty. It's like a Native American style, Native American ring. It's very small. It's so pretty. So far we have found some amazing stuff. She has really, really good jewelry and such an eclectic mix. Oh wow, that's pretty, look at that. Oh, that's signed. There we go. That's signed there. Let's see. JM925. Beautiful stone. So that's sterling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, are these um, J. Crew plastic bits? Oh, okay. So this is J. Crew. I thought these were going to end up being the pools of light, but these are acrylic. Ooh, that's so pretty. J. Crew jewelry is very, very desirable. Um, certain pieces, and some of them can be hundreds of dollars. This is old 925. Mmm. That's gorgeous. It's like we have little seed pearls and marcasites. It's definitely signed there. I don't see a maker, but at least we know it's sterling. And just as a reminder, all of our silver, gold, etc., everything is tested before um, it hits auction. So it may look silver through the camera, it might be marked, but um, everything is tested just to verify because there are a lot of fakes out there. Ooh, look at this. Okay, yep, yeah. okay. That's gorgeous. And that's a shell cameo. That's an, an actual cameo. That's beautiful. Let's just say. Very cool. So you can tell it's definitely old by that adapter. That's an oldie. It's probably gold filled. And look how beautiful. Look at all that detail. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <clears throat> oh, okay. So here we have a Lucite ring. It's definitely retro. And then we have that little inset rhinestone. Look at that. Very, very vintage. I think she was writing out James Avery, but that is John Hardy. That is John Hardy, I'm pretty sure. Look at the fronts. Um, uh, maybe. Looks like she wrote James. I'm pretty sure that that is John Hardy's um, signature, but I'll look it up and, and make sure. Those are really nice earrings. I 
love, I love, I love. This is an oldie. Old brass. Really, really pretty. Very large ring. The Fleur de Lay. Right. It is so hot in Texas. Oh my gosh. And it's only the beginning of summer. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this guy. So that's Sterling. Ooh, all right. So I'm gonna clean this sucker up, make it look good as new. Got some prong set amethyst rhinestones. Very, very nice. See, it's marked there. That's an oldie. Pedro Garcia. With compliments, Pedro Garcia. Looks like a Swarovski. Um, Swarovski, like a choker. That's the word I was looking for. Mmm. It's a beautiful Lucite. Yeah, it's definitely Lucite. Beautiful. Some cool retro pieces so far. Chinese carved walnut seeds. Well, look at that. Now that's interesting. I'm normally not a fan of the wooden jewelry, but this is interesting and listen at that sound it makes. That's very cool. And she put me a note on there to check it. Her hunters are usually right. We have another, yep, another swirled lucite bangle. Super, super retro. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, it's Christian Dior. Oh yeah, a Dior. So a little Dior um, keychain or a thing for your keys or maybe for your purse. That's cool. Right, very old copper cuff. Very Native American. Look how cool. I'm loving it. <laughs> Ooh, we have little cameos. And they're made for left and right. As you can see there. Oh, and they're signed. So that's Sterling, Sorrento maybe. Beautiful silver filigree. Oh, Mother of Pearl, Avalone, um, Cameos. So pretty. Looking like it could be sterling and lapis. That's lapis lazuli. Not seeing any marks. I don't know that it's going to be sterling, but I will test it and see. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I love, look at that. So pretty. Another one. 
하나를 다 Oh, we've got a signature in there. It might say Pell or Bell. Oh, it says solid copper. <laughs> Beautiful Navajo style, very Southwestern. Native American style. Wonderful. These are pretty. Those are natural stones for sure. It looks like maybe they're signed somewhere. Yep. Mm, yep. So there's a signature there of who made it. These are really rarely often set with um, sterling. These are really nice. I wish you guys could feel. Feels like butter. Mm. China. Okay. Come on. Cookie Lee. So we have a vintage Cookie Lee. Oh, and look, look at that. It's a, like a little intaglio, um, like a reverse carved um, cameo. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. What do we have here? Oh my word. I'm sure there's nothing in there. What is this? This is watermelon jasper. What in the world? This must be an artisan made piece. Look at these stones. They're freezing cold. Beautiful stones. Let's see if there's a tag. Okay, no hang tag. That's too bad. That's a beautiful, beautiful artisan made piece. And I love this. It's just so right there in your face. It's very different. Put that over here so I don't break it. Oh, that's pretty. It's a faceted amethyst cut very well. And it looks like this could be sterling. I'll test it and see. Not seeing a marking right away, but that means absolutely nothing. Some silver is not marked and some the marks come off over time with use. Oh, this is pretty. Is it Whiting and Dave? No, not Whiting and Davis. Can't be. Oh, J. Crew. Okay. So we have J. Crew, and looks like we have earrings that match. Some like a gold tone mesh, and then those really nice rhinestones. They make really good jewelry. People seem to really um, like their pieces. Oh, look at this. What in the world? Let's see, it says S-F-E-R-A, S-F-E-R-A, it's this little articulated lady, hmm, well that's interesting, I've never seen anything quite like that before, we'll see what info we can find. That's pretty. It looks like we've got a mark. So it looks like this is going to be sterling. So you could add charms to this. You can do anything you want with this. Super versatile. Okay. Not sure what this is supposed to be. Oh, there's a marking in there. Looks like it's sterling. I said some sort of little lapel pin. So I guess you could add little charms down here. 
if you wanted to. It's different. Oh my. Look at this. This is old. And I don't know what this is. It's chipped there. This is not an, a gemstone. This might be black amber. I don't know. But this, I love that. Look at that. So different. I'm gonna have to look into that one. Um, she put a little note. She said possibly black amber. So you'll have to research and see. That's so different. All right. We have some rock crystal. This is possibly going to be sterling. We'll test it and see. And these are also icy cold. And that's beautiful textured silver. So this might be quartz. This might be um, a clear quartz and then like a smoky quartz. Um, I'll hit it with the uh, presidian and we'll see what it ends up being. I don't want to take these out. So it looks like we have some carnelian earrings. I don't want the little earrings to get lost. Okay. So, 14 karat gold filled. like we have a bracelet to match so a nice vintage 14 karat gold filled um sign there too it might say Malor. i'm not sure mylor however you say that um that's beautiful it feels like real gold <clears throat> Oh, this is lovely. This is vintage. For sure vintage. And she's saying gold filled. And those are very pretty little art glass dangles. Sound very pretty. Bracelet. I'm already liking the looks of this. And it's got its safety chain. And I'm seeing a mark of some kind. Ooh, they're cameos. With that filigree edge. Look at that. Beautiful. something gold filled I'm having trouble seeing it but yeah I can see the GF but look at that that's gorgeous and old 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 Let's see. five signed rhinestones hmm. all right let's have us a look Oh, wow. So here's the closure. It's definitely vintage. But check this construction. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, and it is signed too. I gotta see this. Sterling. And I'm not who sure whose signature that is, but this is an, a nice, look at that construction. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. This kind of reminds me of Weiss, though it is not. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. That is absolutely stunning. Stunning. All right, some little chandelier dangle earrings. These are very likely a silver, the gold vermeil. Yeah, you can see it's marked there. So it's got like a gold overlay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Definitely antique. Look at those cloisonne beads. Those are definitely antique. Very old. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those beautiful beads. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous set. Let me back you guys out a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Looks like we have some clip earrings. Not seeing, I am seeing a mark. Let's look at the front. Ooh. We've got some etching here. Now this is signed by the artist and it's either going to be gold filled or, let me see, what does this say? Yeah. Signed by the artist beautiful stone that's probably smoky quartz might be smoky topaz but i doubt it well eh. it's so dark that really actually might be a smoky topaz um, and being that it's signed um it, it very well could be oh. <laughs> look at these big guys that gum these are huge Not seeing a signature, but have a look at that. Acrylic stones or acrylic pearls. These are definitely, definitely vintage. I wish they were signed. I don't know why people don't sign their stuff. Whatever. I think I just had some of this stuff very recently. It's like a Norwegian silver in enameling. Look how pretty. This kind of is reminding me of that. I'll get that twisted around the correct way. Oh yeah, here we go. A Sterling Norway DF, or DA, that's D Anderson, Norway. Beautiful. I probably won't clean and polish that one because I think the patina adds character. Oh, I've had one of these before. Rush by Denise and Charles. This is a very couture um, runway piece. Um, it's Lucite. Beautiful, beautiful. I think the one I had before the hang tag was um, made, actually made of Lucite. These look like Coro. I think 
that's coral. Oh, so some thermoset. So we have some thermoset earrings by Coro. Classic, classic. These are Zuni. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful Zuni earrings. Oh my gosh. Those are absolutely stunning. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now, if this is sterling, wouldn't that be something? And it is. Look at there. See the sterling mark? That's old. This is weighty, too. Lots of silver. Nice cuff. I'm not going to put it on. Wow. You know, the older silver just seems a whole lot heavier. Maybe they just use more of it than they do now. I don't know. Hello, cutie. So we have some faceted crystals. It's an old shepherd's hook. Double strand. Nice AB. Very unusual ring. Let me see what she says. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. It's got those little dangles all the way around. I'm sure it's gonna be sterling. Maybe, maybe not. I'll test it and see. I'm not seeing a mark right away. Oh yeah, I do, right there. Can you guys see? Let's see what it says. So there's an S and a triangle. This is definitely a designer piece. Look how cool. I like those little dangle, little baubles that are dangling. Very, very cool. God, I love those Zuni earrings. What do we have here? This kind of looks like it should match that cuff. So this is looking very much like it could be sterling or should be sterling. I'm not seeing a marking right away. But this can really fit any finger and adjust to size. Oh, I love these articulated cloisonne fish. These are wonderful. This one's old and in very good shape. There's very little enamel loss. Um, and I love that articulation. It's beautiful. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. This is heavy. Very, very heavy. Oh. Wow. Look how beautiful. Mmm. Those are beautiful. They remind me of Czechoslovakian. But what's throwing me are these Millefiori pieces here and this definitely is jade it is icy cold but these molded those are glass are just screaming Czechoslovakia let's see now this might be sterling it is such a nice piece oh yeah there we go 925 so I'll test it just to verify but my gosh look at that that is beautiful. I wish you guys could feel some of these. Some of these are just like icy, icy cold. Which is the way it should be. The gemstones are cold. All right, we have a ring. Pretty, that looks like it's probably a CZ. All right, 
like this is nice and different. Is this Joan Rivers? Okay, so it doesn't look like this is supposed to come up, but it looks like this is supposed to open somehow. Hmm. I'm going to have to look at this one off camera because I don't want to um, do a Google image and see which way. So there's hinges. So this does definitely open. It's just how does it open? So I don't want to pull too hard. If it was mine, I'd just do it. But since this is consignment, I am going to respect it and do it gentle off camera. <clears throat> Ed Hardy. No, nope, this is definitely Ed Hardy, all right. Very classic. Little pendant, charm pendant. I'm not sure that it's sterling. It might be. I'll check it and see. All right. So we have Goldstone. Is that gold? It is. That's 14K. That's an old closer, too. So 14K with beautiful gold stone. These are all hand knotted. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And listen at that sound. That sound you're mostly getting from the, the gold beads, but so pretty. This looks like coral, maybe. And then we got this beautiful closure. Is that gold? Yep, 14K. So we have 14K white gold. And so I do kind of believe this to be coral. It's beautiful. Really nice strand there. So this consignment is very, very large. Very, very large. I've had to condense it down. That way we can get through what we can get through so I can get everything listed. There's going to be a whole lot more that unfortunately I just cannot show it all. Those are pretty. Oh, and they're 1928. I was not expecting these are coming to me through the camera at least to look very old. There's a scratch there, but um, these are by 1928. That's their box. That's their style for their box. So. Mm. This has been a super fun consignment so far. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Beautiful. It's not old pond, but it's super old and very Navajo. That's a large piece and very genuine turquoise, beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. This one's heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, I like pulling. Does that say Mavado? No, it does not. Nova Dog? Nova Dog? Nova. Nova something. Oh. So this is not, um, this is a plastic, but these are genuine. 
They're looking like sodalite. Well, I think it's lapis lazuli. Um, but definitely a very nice artisan made piece. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. Beautiful artisan made um, necklace. And I'll have to reach search that designer and see what I can find. I'm in love. Oh, do we have matches? Oh, not a match. Can I already tell you I like this? So this is gold tone or prop maybe even gold filled. And then beautiful, very striking AB rhinestones. Pearls, pearls, pearls. This might be sterling. And these are definitely genuine pearls of all different shapes and sizes. It's super classy. There's something so classy and elegant about um, pearls. Okay, what are we, what are, what, what are you? Oh, it's a pendant of some sort. Oh my, it scared me. Oh, so it's like a kaleidoscope. Maybe? Or a magnifier? Lord, I don't know what this is. But that's super cool. Scared me. I wasn't expecting something to pull out. Wow. But I like this a lot. I can tell you that. Hmm. A little gold tone ring. Oh. CZ. Excuse my dry hands. Oh, and we have a 10K. Is there is that 18? Lord, I can't. Yep, 10K. All right, so a 10 carat CZ um, uh, cross ring. That's gorgeous. Fourteen K. Am I saying that right? Yeah, fourteen K CZ. Those are very pretty. tell you what material this is. I'll just say that it is organic for sure. And very, very old. Very likely silver. Um, I'll test it and see. Wow. Super, super old. Love it. Hmm. Oops. Oh, there is something. About to say there's nothing there. Let's see. This is an old bar pen. Oh, it says Sophia, I think. notes saying that this is gold so she's seen a mark somewhere I don't see it right away um, but I will be able to see it under better magnification um, that's so cute 
And I'm pretty sure that's for Sophia. That's sweet. A coat clamper. Oh, made of porcelain. This definitely has some chips there, but this is very old. Made in England. I love the construction in the back. I hate that they're chipped, but I'm. I'm I think I'm gonna offer this any anyhow, and um, see how it goes. <clears throat> we'll definitely advertise it as that it is an as-is piece and that happens especially on those pieces that have been made with ceramic or porcelain of some kind okay huh so this is bulgari but i don't think they are this should be gold if it was actually Bulgari. They're pretty. I'm gonna set them aside just to make sure that I do my diligence. So I wonder what these are. Yep, to be say Bulgari also. So yeah, so these should be, if they were Bulgari, they, should, they would be gold. And I'm not seeing, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, that's nothing. It's that little thing that keeps your earring back from falling off. Yeah, I don't think that these are genuine. Um, this, this does not look right here. I wish they were genuine, but I just don't think that they are. But I will have a friend of mine look at them, just so I'm sure. Oh, this is pretty. This looks like Kate Spade. Beautiful enameling. Oh, I was very wrong. Henry Bendel. Or Bendel, I don't know how to say his, his last name from New York. Beautiful. So definitely better than Kate Spade, but um, Kate Spade still makes fantastic jewelry. Wow. Beautiful turquoise ring. That's stunning. Oh, and it says Rally. No, it's not. I'm crazy. It's Bars. Beautiful, beautiful turquoise. I'm loving it. Okay, so what in the world is this? What in the world are you? Oh, this is glass. Well. Oh, it's got some. Oh yeah, this is dichroic glass. It's been made into a barrette. I hate that it's peeling right there. I might try it and see, see what we can do. Let me back you guys out. Oh, that's pretty. Very equestrian. I love this. What does this say? Courtney Designs. It's number 55. No. It's 8 out of 55 made. I don't know that this is necessarily sterling. It's definitely brass. This might be sterling. I'm going to have to look this um, designer up and see what I can find. That's such a cool piece. But I want to keep her note with it. That's 
a sterling lobster closure. And then we have, ooh, beautiful rutilated quartz. Look at that rutilation. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Set with sterling. Really look nice and long spender there. So we got a little family tree, or a tree, not necessarily family. Okay, this is 925. And it looks like there's some stones there, probably emeralds, or maybe diopside. It's definitely sterling. Leo. Roman soldier cameo old. So this is probably gold. But it's not gold. It's definitely silver. But look at that. That is beautiful. And she's right. It's definitely an oldie. I love it all. I love it all. sweet. I don't know if that's gold or gold tone. Oh, uh, that's gold. So that's 10k. It looks like maybe blue topaz and like a little pave diamond in the center. I'll test it to make sure. That's an oldie. You can tell by design. Get all this closer to me. That is. Mmm. We all know what this is. Beautiful amber. Beautiful, beautiful amber. Oh, and it's signed on the outside. How interesting. Lots of little inclusions in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Little tiny baby locket. Cute. It says on this side there's something there. One, four, seven, eight. It's probably gold filled. Let me see. take a look. Yeah, ten K gold filled. Cute little locket. That's pr pretty. I'm not sure that this is going to be sterling. Um, it might be like a Tibetan silver. I love this stone. And these are looking like they're natural. Turquoise not dyed. I could be wrong. And this is very likely going to be sterling. I'll have to test it and see. I'm not so sure about this pendant. Um, the, it's just... If it is sterling, it's extremely old. Um, but I'll test it and, and see. It doesn't give me that feel, but I'll definitely test it. That's beautiful. Even if it's not silver, that's beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. A little micro mosaic ring. Oh my goodness. I have never seen a ring before. And what is that on the outside? That's just texturing like the design. You can see up close. Let me see. Very cool. And all of those little tiny pieces in there, they're called terrace. It looks like there might be just a little piece missing there, but this is beautiful. Super old. not old pawn. It's old, but it's not old pawn. It's beautiful Navajo. Mm. Look how striking. I am in love. So nice. Oh my goodness. Bear and a bull. Some cufflinks. It says Wall Street Finance. Bear and a bull. Interesting. Very interesting. Look at that lapis. I'm not 100% that that's going to be sterling. It might be Tibetan. It is marked, so it could be. But I will test it and definitely see what it is. I love it. Either way. Okay. So we have this sort of tortoiseshell lucite adjustable. Um, stretchy bracelet. This is definitely vintage, very retro. And I like that sound for sure. Okay. Ruskin is right. So that's cool. Very cool piece. France. Etruscan couture. I love, I especially love this one. Very vintage. Very, very vintage. I could spend hours admiring. <laughs> but you guys are thinking, go on to the next, go on to the next. Oh, these are beautiful little dainty pearls. And they're genuine. This looks like it could be gold, actually. It's so, feels so thin. I definitely think that this is going to be gold. If I can get it to cooperate. I'm pretty sure. I just want to show. Oh yeah, there it is, 10K. Come on, focus camera. JCM 10K. 
That's 10 karat gold, and these are genuine freshwater pearls. And a nice long extender. Very dainty. I don't understand the dangle. Oh, yes, no, I do. No, I do. There's three, so it is symmetrical. Okay. Beautiful. Who doesn't love some gold and some, oi, some gold and some pearls? Oh boy. This is super Art Deco in style. Okay, so we've got a signature there. And something there, let's have a look. One end says China, I think. The other end says RP925. I don't think this is actually silver though. There's some black spotting which is the base metal coming through. I'll test it and see, but it's so smooth, at least like a rhodium plating. Um, I'll see if it's uh, sterling, but I'm not 100%. I'm gonna put this with my uh, test pile. Ooh, this is very heavy. What are you, what are you? Oh. Oh, a little sea creature. Um, oh, and look, it's Brighton. Oh, that's sweet. I'm loving that. Look how cute. I didn't know Brighton made a charm bracelet like this. This is a substantial piece. It's heavy. A few more pieces to go, and then we'll wrap it up. little stud earrings, probably sapphires. And I see some markings there, let's have a look. 925, so that's a sterling and gold vermeil. Mm. And that says Kramer. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. It has that double extend or double closure where it can extend. And that's definitely Kramer. Let's look at the back. Well, I wanted to look at the back first, but ooh. Gorgeous, gorgeous rhinestones. Beautiful. I definitely am feeling some rhodium plating. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Look at that. So stunning. Let's see. Yeah, so I do think this is a rock crystal. I don't think it's quartz. And that may, that closure might be sterling. I'll test it and see. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be glass. Well, yeah, I think it's definitely going to end up being rock crystal. It's ice cold. Ice, ice cold. Ooh, I like the looks of this already. Come on out of here. I love Damascene. Oh, it had a safety chain. That's broken off. That's too bad. Oh, this is beautiful Damascene. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look how gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful Damascene bracelet. And somebody might could. Oh, yeah, I could get that back together. Get some tweezers and a steady hand. Look how pretty. See there, it's sign 925. And here's, look, here's more of those molded 
glass leaves that are kind of like an iridescent. Now they're glass. And then these beautiful seed beads. These are screaming Czech to me, but I don't think that they are. It's probably Italian. But gosh, those are beautiful. Some really different and beautiful pieces in this lot. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see who these are gonna be. Ooh, Joe Maz, Joseph Mazur. Look at that. Very fine costume designer. Ay wee wee. Look how beautiful. Well, I gotta take care of these. These are good ones. Joseph Mazur, very, very good costume designer. So last piece, looks like it says 925. And it's definitely 925. That's definitely old. It is hollow. And you've got these onyx beads. And then there's the closure. You can see it's signed. My goodness. Oi. What a way to end this unboxing. There is so much more, guys, but unfortunately, I have to condense it down um, so that we can get it all in for um, in time to have it listed. So if you are interested in consigning with me, please reach out. My contact information is linked below. Um, if you are interested in purchasing anything that you've seen, keep an eye on my auction. The link to my auction is also linked in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.